Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. We do have high pressure going to be building in later this week. What this means is hot conditions coming up for us. We could even have some record heat coming up for the Rogue Valley. We had an upper level low that's moving off to the east and that's what gave us the cool weather. It'll still be relatively cool tonight, but we'll notice the heat Building up later this week. Now for the coast, low temperatures will generally be in the 50s and possibly 60s around Brookings. The wind out of the north, northwest 10 to 30. There could be some higher gusts this evening, calming down, then kicking back up again for tomorrow. And we're going to have the offshore flow, Chetco effect for Brookings. So I'm going for temperatures in the 90s for highs. Generally speaking, highs will be in the 60s and 70s along the coast. You move a little bit further inland, it starts to get warmer. And we are moving inland here for the West Valleys overnight, generally in the upper 40s through the 50s. So another cool start for your Tuesday. And during the day we get hot. Temperatures generally in the 90s, plenty of sunshine. The wind out of the north, northeast 5 to 15 miles per hour with the dry conditions. East of the Cascades, lows in the 30s and 40s. So another cool start for you as well. We have more sunshine. During the day on Tuesday, temperatures in the 70s and 80s heading up towards Crater Lake, staying in the 60s with plenty of sunshine. The wind out of the east northeast from 5 to 15 miles per hour. There could be some higher gusts. Check out those numbers though in the seven day forecast. 100s Wednesday right through Saturday. We could be breaking or maybe tying some records either way, especially on Thursday and Friday. A heat advisory is in effect from 1 p.m. Wednesday through 11 p.m. Saturday. Please take it easy with these hot temperatures. Stay hydrated, take plenty of breaks, and also use that sunscreen if you will be out and about. A slight chance for showers and storms Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, mainly during the afternoon and evening hours. And it will be not as cool overnight as we start to get in with those hot temperatures later this week. Klamath Basin, highs in the 80s and 90s. Sunshine around, there's a slight chance for showers and storms on Friday and also Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Best chance during the afternoon and evening hours. Lows in the 40s and 50s, then around 60 towards the weekend. Mount Shasta City, highs in the 90s. Plenty of sunshine, a slight chance for a late day shower or storm on Friday. And the chance continues Saturday, Sunday and Monday, but mainly during the afternoon and evening hours. And lows in the 50s and 60s for the coast. Highs will generally be in the 60s and 70s. However, with that Chetco effect, the offshore flow around Brookings and Harbor, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday could get pretty hot with temperatures in the 90s and lows generally in the 50s and 60s.